Hello wonderful people to this new video. Today I'm showing an addition to the workflow I showed you last time. We are integrating image to image functionality into it so that we can take a base image and create another new image on top of it. We need efficiency in that model which is quite new. I will link uh, the paper to this uh, where everything is explained in the description below as well as the place where you can find the model. So I start with the workflow we created in the last tutorial. We have to make some changes in the settings as well but I will guide you through everything. So let's begin. So this is the workflow we created last time. Now we need to change things especially regarding the stable cascade empty latent image. So we don't need the stage C anymore. We'll delete this. The stage B stays. So we need to replace this with, uh, with our custom latent image now. So to do this, we create a load image node. I load uh, this image and now we have to encode our image to get a new latent we then can fill into the first case sampler. So let's create a VAE encode node and for the encoding we need uh, the new model, the efficiency net model. Create a VAE loader and choose the FNET encoder safe tensors. I will link this uh, where you find this model in the description below. It's in the same hugging face repository as the other models we used before. So we have to connect our latent port to the latent image port of our first sampler. And then let's choose another prompt. I want this uniform, this dress to change to an armor and a little bit of a helmet and stuff. So let's take this prompt. Futuristic soldier wearing a face covering helmet with high tech colorful LED armor, young female wearing a helmet. So let's give this a try. So what we can see here is that the image seems not to be based on our source image. To change this, we have to change the settings in our first case sampler. The denoise setting is important here. So let's do something like 0.5 as a denoise setting and try again. So now you see our source image again, but the helmet is gone and the armor is not really present. So let's increase the denoise setting more. Let's do like 0.7. So there comes the helmet. It depends really on what you want to create and you have to play around with those settings. I will increase this even further to 0 0.8, for example. Give it another try. So that looks quite promising. Let's make another one. So there you go. Stable cascade image to image. It's really not many things to change. The only thing is load an image, a source image, and then load the VAE FNET encoder and encode it to a latent and then fill the latent into your case sampler. What is important is that you upgrade your Comfy UI again. I tried this workflow at first with my old Comfy UI version and got an error. Be sure to make an update on of your Comfy UI before you can do it with the manager. 
and then everything should work. If you have questions, comment below and I hope I see you again soon.